came up that, um, I, as again, I friend requested them. Uh, some of them are customers now, you know, back four years ago when I sent those friend requests out. Um, so not right away, but they are now. Um, so that's, that's what you can do there. You can also, uh, if you're a parent, um, you know, add the parents of your, of your um, child's friends, you know, that you, you pick them up at school or you go to daycare. Um, you know, you can friend, friend request them as well. Um, add people you come in contact with every single day on a daily basis. Um, I, you know, every, wherever I go, if, if I'm there for the first time, if I'm meeting somebody, doing something, you know, I, I add them as a friend request on Facebook. I'll give you an example. Um, my, you know, or the salon that I go to, you know, the girl who colors my hair, you know, first time, not the first time, but I think it was the second time. Uh, after we got to know each other a little bit, you know, we became friends on Facebook. You know, the um, your manicure, pedicure, wherever you're going out in the day, you know, if you just strike up a conversation with somebody, you know, think of, and, and then do it right then and there, you know, like bring out your phone and, and say, oh, put, put their name in, they come up and then you can do a friend request. You know, they can do it right on your phone. You know, they don't have to do it on their phone and boom, and then they can become a friend. But, but just... Constantly reaching out to, um, you know, everybody that you come in contact with, you know, all the time. Um, I'm going to skip that one because I don't know. Hold on. Um, I'll, I'll, everybody always says, well, I come from a small town. You don't know. I don't, then, there's no one near me that I, you know, that I can sell to or that I can talk to, right? Well, I mean, I can tell you that. Uh, I live in Leesburg, Virginia. I don't think in the past six years I've ever sold to anybody in Leesburg, Virginia. Okay. Um, you know, it's, it's, I meet people online, right? I meet people all over the United States and Canada. It really doesn't matter where they are or where you are. Right. So I know a lot of people think, oh, well, yeah, I don't have anybody to talk to. You know, I, I work with five people and that's it. <laughs> so, yeah. And this, this is what I want you guys to do. Here's, here's a homework assignment right now for everybody. I want you to, to take out a piece of paper um, and write down five things other than Beachbody products and coaching, five things that you are interested in five things that are hobbies of yours. Um, maybe you are a huge, I don't know, Stephen King fan. So, so write down Stephen King. Um, maybe you are a huge, I don't know, the bachelor or the bachelorette. Is that still on? I don't even know. I don't watch TV. Um, you know, maybe you're a huge bach bachelor fan, bachelorette fan, write that down, you know, write down things your interest and your hobbies, five things. And then what I want you to do is to go to Facebook and search on those things and look for groups, look for, for fan groups, fan groups of the bachelor, look for Stephen King's fan groups, look for where there's conversations going on um, and then get into these groups. And your whole point of getting into these groups is not because you're going to bombard people. We went over that last week with the do's and don'ts. You're not going to bombard people with sales, selling to them. You are meeting people. You are meeting people. So Greg mentioned, you know, small town, I don't know anybody. Well, you can use Facebook to get to know a lot of people and people that have the same interest as you. It doesn't make any sense for Pablo to go into a single mother's group and try to find people, you know, and relate to people. Okay. Um, so you've got to pick something that interests you. And then you're going to have fun while you're in there because you're talking about something that's important to you, a hobby, you know, and then you'll also be able to bring value to that group. And then you are going to friend people and people are going to friend you. Uh, you're going to friend them. And then they're eventually going to see because you are doing the vital behaviors and you are sharing this journey. Um, they are going to see your posts on your timeline and it'll pop up in their news feeds or your like page, you know, so they're, they're going to be exposed to that. So, um, you know, that's, it's very important to make sure you pick those groups that are, that, that, that you're interested in. So you have value to bring. We always talk about that, bringing value to everybody, whether it's with 
products or whether it's, you know, all of your, the other knowledge that you have. Um, and then that's how you can meet people. And uh, just as an example, let's say that you are a Disney freak. I know there are so many Disney freaks out there. We have tons of coaches on our team that are Disney freaks. You can join a Disney group, right? And just as an example, you know, let's say you're planning a trip to Disney, right? You know, Disney freaks always go there every single year, right? So, uh, you know, you could just throw out a question, even if you don't really want to know the answer, just ask people's opinion on something. You know, what is the best place to get breakfast in Disney? You will get, I guarantee you, probably 50 to 100 people that will tell you the best place to eat breakfast in Disney, okay? And then you can go and you can comment or reply to every single person's comment, and when you do that, friend, 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 okay? Because you've just established the relationship with them, right? Um, and now you picked up 50 to 100 new friends, okay? You see how that works? And then once you establish that relationship and the friend and they accept your friend request, then you can go through their timeline and say, hey, you know, uh, you can comment on some of their pictures or you could send them a private message, not about Beachbody like Brian said, just establishing the relationship because if you show interest in them, then they're gonna show interest in you and they're gonna start following you and if they see you posting your workout, you know, talking about your story, your transformation, your shake, whatever, they're gonna ask questions, right? So maybe not right away, but eventually, right? When you do that, hey, I'm starting a, a free, uh, you know, clean eating group this month, you know, you're gonna have all those people that you friended last month that'll be like, hey, I'm interested, you know? That's the way it works. Mm -hmm. um, uh, don't rely on business cards. I know I get this question a lot, um, uh, and I already kind of talked, touched upon this. Um, I do have business cards. I have them somewhere. I got them when I first became a coach. I don't really use them anymore, maybe here or there. If I'm talking to somebody, like I mentioned before, um, I want to friend them, you know, right then and there. That's my business card is my phone, right? We all carry our phones with us everywhere, don't we? Uh, you know, so right there, you know, you can get them to friend, friend request you, um, you know, even get their email, you know, depending on how well you know the person, uh, you know, but um, so you, you can use business cards, but just don't rely on throwing out a bunch of business cards and then sitting back and waiting for the phone to ring, uh, you know, so it kind of doesn't work that way as a coach. Um, you can, all of the free leads that you guys get, um, and we haven't really talked about this, but so I'll just do it real quick. You know, a free lead is, is basically the same thing as a assigned customer. When Beachbody assigns you customers, next week we're gonna talk about how that happens, uh, the different reward programs, incentive programs. Uh, all of those customers that you get assigned, um, you know, you always reach out to them. You'll have their email address most of the time. Beachbody gives it to you. Um, and you can also find them on Facebook and friend request them and, let, and introduce yourself as their coach. Um, you know, so, so make sure you're doing that when you get those free assigned customers. Um, Facebook jail, I'll let Greg hit this one. Uh, there is such a thing called Facebook jail. They come to your house, they put you in handcuffs. <laughs> Call you away. Call you away. Uh, no, Facebook jail is um, when your Facebook profile gets suspended because they think you're a spammer or something like that, right? Um, and that could happen if you're friending a lot of people, um, for example, and those people, uh, you know, because you haven't established that relationship with them, like, you know, they haven't commented on something of yours or you haven't commented on something of theirs, you know, they can, you know how somebody can send you a friend request and, and they could deny it and they can mark it as spam, you know? So if enough people did that, Facebook would say, you're in suspension for a week or right or whatever. So you want to avoid that, right? So, you know, basically if you establish some kind of relationship with them before sending them a friend request, like you ran a post or you put, you commented on their post or, you know, you need something like that. And then another uh, good habit that you can do is let's say you, you know, you did that Disney post and you sent out a hundred friend requests. You know, what I will do is I will wait a couple days to see 
And then you can go back in and you can see your friend request that you sent and you can see who hasn't accepted your friend request. So maybe a week later, you could go back in and see of that 100, 50 of them didn't accept my friend request and you can cancel those friend requests, you know, because if, they, if Facebook sees that you're sending a thousand friend requests and people aren't accept, you know, accepting them, you could get into trouble. So that's, a, that's a, a good habit to get into is if you send a whole bunch, you know, go back and check to see who's accepted and, and try to avoid being in Facebook jail. I've never been in Facebook jail. I know it happens to coaches who do a lot of friend requests. Um, or if you, you appear to be a spammer, like you posted the same link or the same message in like five different groups or 10 different groups, you can get into trouble for that. So just be aware and, you know, take a good housekeeping of, you know, of your Facebook account. So. Yeah. And, and also, um, what I do with those free groups, if you're running free groups, um, like say off your like page, I know we didn't get too deep into that. We have tons of resources in, in um, how to run free challenge groups, a whole self paced training uh, and engaged network. Um, but if you're doing it on your like page, what I will do is have one of the requirements to join the group is to send me a friend request because this way you'll be able to make sure that you get all of the posts, you'll get all of the updates, you'll be able to get into the group. Um, you know, so, and most people will send you the, so now they're sending you a friend request instead of you sending them a friend request and having a bunch of different friend requests. Um, you know, and I use it as criteria. If you're going to send me a friend request, you know, it's something you have to do if you want to be part of the free group. Uh, you like my page and then my like page and then send me a friend request. Um, so how many, how many friends should you be trying to add um, every day? I know Greg put that 5,100 number out there. Uh, you know, let's drop it down a little bit. If, you know, do that homework assignment, those, those five things that your, your hobbies or what you're interested in, join those five groups, you know, and partake, participate in those groups. Um, and try to make it a goal to add, you know, three to five new friends, you know, every single day, you know, or maybe 15 to 20 every single week, you know, and that's what your goal is. Your goal is to expand your warm market, to expand your friends list. Right. That initial link that I gave there, that business activity tracker, um, that treat that as a game, you know, it's like set a goal for the amount of friends that you're going to add this week. Let's say it's, you know, if it's, Two a day, that's 14 friends, right? So, you know, you know, just make a game out of it. And it's like, hey, you know, how can I get 14 friends? You know, and just you can find people, you can search for people, you can, uh, you know, they're going to groups. That, you know, there's different ways to do it, you know. I typically don't do, um, you know, two a day or anything like that, although that's perfectly fine. Like what I do is, like I said, it's like I'll do 50 at one time, you know. Um, so, you know, typically I'll run a free group or I'll run an ad and I'll bring in 50, you know, people that I friend at one time. So that's what I do. Um, hey, Brian, why don't I share my screen and I can share that, um, that group, that free group. And talk yeah, about. let's do it. All right. So um, here is the, uh, the group that Brian was talking about was talking about that free group. Um, it's free group training, right? So when we say free group, what is a free group? A free group is something that you host for people for free. So they don't have to buy, you know, a Beachbody program. They don't have to buy Shakeology. They don't have to buy anything, right? It's just um, like, like I'm running a, uh, you can see right here, I'm running a January clean eating group that started today, right? And it's, you know, people are posting healthy meals. I give them a meal plan. Um, and you can see I have 32 people in the group, right? So all of those 32 people are my new friends, right? Um, so I lost my spot, but if I go back to that free group, we have a training on how to run free groups, okay? And you can all be added 
Um, Brian, can you give them this link to the free group in the chat? So everybody just, you know, go ahead and request access to this, bookmark it or add it to your favorites. But in the, uh, the first post, the pinned post, okay? If you look at the pinned post, you'll see a table of contents and it outlines nine posts. There are like nine videos that you can watch um, and it kind of walks you through how to create a free group. You know, it gives you different examples, um, like how to create pictures, you know, pick monkey, you know, uh, what to post in your free group, how to create the video collages. So it, it goes over a lot more than just how to run a free group, but it tells you, you know, how to create all those pictures and banners and videos and stuff that you see all these coaches doing, you know, how to use a like page, right? you know, how to, how to uh, advertise your free group on a like page. It goes over things like that. Now, something else is, that's great, a great resource is right down here in the bottom, there are two links to Google Drives, okay, which have a ton of resources in them for creating content for your, your free group. The second link right here is a new one which we added, um, that we got from another coach, uh, Jamie Shepard. And you can see, look at all these examples. There's a paleo seven day group. There's a crock pot seven day group. There's a vegetarian group. So the clean eating one right here, this is the one that I'm doing. And you can see like in here, it gives you step by step, right? It'll give you a shopping list. It gives you every day, you know, um, every day I give them, here's the meal plan for the day, for the next day, right? Um, so it tells them exactly what to eat. Um, let's see, what else? It's got, um, here's the posting template, right? So it'll tell you, you know, um, here are the posts that you can make. You know, obviously, uh, you, you may want to customize these and, and not, uh, use them exactly, but if you want to, you can use them exactly, and you know it, it just it walks you through day by day by day, right? Set up, you know, a couple days before, start making these setup posts, and um, so it's really a no brainer, and I, I recommend that everyone do a free group once a month and start one as soon as possible because it's a great way to start mm -hmm. building trust with people. And uh, a great way to start making new friends, right? Because the first thing that I do is when I get in my, my cleaning group is I add people. Let's say you made a, a post on your timeline about a, a seven-day clean eating group, right? Who's interested in doing a seven-day clean eating group? Let's say you get 10 people that say they're interested. So you add them into the group. So one of the first things that I do, well, like way back here in the beginning, is... Uh, I can't even find it. Um, there. I tell people to invite their friends, right? I want them to invite their friends. I've had people, I've had one, one person invite over 50 people into my free group before. You know, one person alone invited 50 people. Because I tell them that the person that invites the most friends gets a prize. <laughs> you know? So it's, it's a great way to have people you know, invite their friends, and then you get to connect with their friends through them, right? So, um, and then, you know, I have, uh, I offer people a prize, you know, if they post a healthy meal. So that's why you see, like, all these healthy meals that people are posting and stuff. But anyway, if you go through that group, it kind of lays it out for you, and it tells you step-by-step step what to do, so. Yeah, so I just <clears throat> want to say you know with you know a lot of new coaches you know myself included you know it's like well i don't know where to start i don't i don't know how to begin free groups we just gave you everything you guys have everything there 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 is there is, you know literally nothing i mean you do want to make it kind of your own obviously but you know you the training is there like greg talked about you know to go through and learn how to, you know, do some of the stuff, technical stuff and, and things like that. And then, oh my God, what, what was just shown with all the different types of group, everything is already written out. The images are there. The posts are there. You know, that's, that's what we do as coaches. We, 
we have success, we replicate that, and then we make it available to everyone else who wants to do that. So, you know, it's, it's, it's there. It is right there. That's why when Greg was showing that, you know, if you guys saw me smiling, I was like, it's, it's all right there. Anybody can do that. That's what Greg mentioned in the, when we started this call. He said, this is simple. This is simple. Being a coach is simple. But it takes hard work. You still got to work hard at it. But it is simple. You're not just going off of, you're not blindly out there trying to figure out what to do. We are giving you the tools and the resources to do it. Right. I mean, if you think of hard work, like, you know, brain surgery or maybe construction, I would say construction is damn hard work. Right, Ricky? <laughs> I mean, um, but this is not hard work, right? You, we're sitting at a computer. I mean, for, you know, we're, we're talking to people on Facebook. That's not hard, but it's scary. I can tell you that it's scary to people, right? I bet a lot of people would rather go work all day at construction than to talk to somebody on Facebook that they don't know. You know, so if you can overcome your fear, you know, and do this simple work, it can be very rewarding. So, hey guys, can I go ahead and say something? Yep. Yeah. So, I just started my own free group this week, clean eating group, and once you get one or two people, it just, it's weird. It just like snowballs, right? Um, I think I added, there's, I got 20 people in my group and I don't know, once one person started it, it just, just kept rolling. So it started today and we're having fun with it. So it, it is kind of scary at first, but once you get it rolling, I mean, it, it, it's fun. So awesome. we kind of try to keep everybody involved. So I'm trying to, you know, doing kind of emulating Greg. I don't know if you guys saw me in his clean eating group. So he's kind of got me in there and I'm kind of um mm -hmm. checking out his posts and everything but trying to make it my own so awesome dan let, just, let, yeah. let me show you one other thing um if you can see my screen there what i do is i track every single person in the group right so not only do i add them as a friend right that's the first thing i start conversations with them right because you want to start building that trust relationship and then i start i put them in a spreadsheet and, you know, I'm tracking, you know, are they posting every day? But I'm also, um, I use this spreadsheet at the end for following up with people. You know, it's like, um, like here. So did I send them a welcome message? You know, um, did they respond to my call to action, right? These people up here responded. So you can see, you know, as I follow up with them about, you know, because at the end of the free group, I want to convert them into my paid group, right? My challenge group. I want to sell them an all access pass challenge back and get them into my premier group. And as I talk to them, I go down my spreadsheet and I make sure, you know, I keep notes, right, on every single person. And I see, you know, did they respond, you know, yes, no, whatever. You can see, like, the green ones are the ones that actually converted into a challenge, you know, a challenge pack. Um, so that's what I recommend. I mean, that's, that's key. It's not only inviting, right? It, it, it's not only how to run a free group. But it's, you know, building the relationship and following up and tracking people. That's the key. Honest, honest to God, that is the, the key to success. Because if you're not following, if you're not tracking, you're not following up with people, you're never going to close the deal, right? You're never, people always say, well, I, I run a free group and no one was interested in my paid group, you know? Well, how many conversations did you have with them? You know, how many times did you follow up with them? You know, that's, that's the key. All right. What else, Brian? I think we, we went quick. I think we covered um, everything that we wanted to talk about tonight. <clears throat> um, so, I mean, does any other buddy want to share anything? Any questions? on what we talked about tonight or anything with <clears throat> coaching in general this is i know there i mean there's obviously we talked a lot about facebook tonight i mean other popular platforms are like snapchat there's coaches that are 
killing it in Snapchat. I, I don't even own that application. I know Brian does. <laughs> no. I just see annoying little pictures that everybody posts, but no, I, I don't, I haven't got into it yet. Um, you know, so a lot of people are in Instagram, right? So if you want to make Instagram your jam, you can certainly do that. You can, you know, search hashtags and heart or like or follow or whatever you do in Instagram, right? I mean, there are, there are coaches that have built a million dollar business using Instagram. You know, so you can do it. There's coaches that build a million dollar business using YouTube, you know. So um, we had one on our team call last week, and we have the recording of that if, if anybody's interested. Um, he got amazing results. He created a YouTube video. Um, it went viral. He got millions of people that followed him. He got put on the infomercial. He became top coach in the entire network. And, and now he makes millions of dollars a year, you know, as a, as a coach. And he did it all through, mainly through YouTube and, and his blog, you know. So, you know, there's different ways. The top coach in the network right now does it through a blog. Melanie Mitro, she is, she's a top coach for the third year in a row. And she does it through the use of a blog. So, you know, whether you do Facebook, blogging, Instagram, you know, whatever. I, I just recommend pick one or two and focus on those and get good at those, you know. Okay, any, any questions? Or we can wrap up early. Questions about anything else? Other, other, it doesn't have to be about expanding your own market. It could be about whatever. What is the team cup? Everybody here on a, I'm sorry, Juanita, go ahead. I said, that's a good one, the team cup. Yeah, raise your hand if you are on a team cup team. Okay. Everyone in here? Did, Ricky, did your hand go up? Okay. Not Ricky, but he just signed up today, so. We oh, okay. That's no excuse, Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get on a cup. Greg is going to find you a cup team, right, Greg? Sure. So tell them what a cup, uh, what the cup is, Brian. Okay, so we all get on a plane, fly to Hawaii, right? So you got to make sure you have two weeks available. Uh, Wendy pays for all of us, okay? Uh, oh, now she's not going. What? Um, all right. So the team cup is really cool. What Beach Beachbody puts on um, two of these. I know one year we had three, but but usually it's two a year. Um, and uh, they always happen at the beginning of the year, and then we'll probably have one in the fall. Um, and what it is is just, and you'll see this friendly competition where you can win prizes. And it, to me, that's not what the Team Cup is about. That's just little bonus, bonus stuff. For, for me, the Team Cup, what it's about is, is getting our team closer together, okay? It's about sharing knowledge it's about learning it's about teamwork it's about um growing this business learning more about the business um what we do is with the team cup you have teams of five and uh there is a team captain and there's four other people that are on the team um and it, what you do is you earn points for a success club um you earn points if you go up and rank um, there's a couple of other ways you earn points when it comes to rank. If, 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 if one of your coaches goes up in rank, uh, you'll get points, not only yourself. Um, so, you know, it is a point system and there is prizes that, that you get for earning those points, but it's, it's this, like what I do. And I, th I think Juanita on the call, Wendy on the call, Pablo on the call, they, they are on cup team, uh, my cup team, and one of the cup teams. I have a private group on Facebook where all of our teams get together. Um, and what we do is we share our knowledge. We share the tactics that are working for us. We, we um, celebrate in all of our successes. Um, you know, so it's, it's a time for all of us. Not that we don't do that without the team cup, because we do, but it's just another little added thing that that makes it fun and, and exciting um you know and then 
what I usually do is, is I'll have little mini contests and prizes for my coaches uh, if they hit certain milestones too. So uh, it's just a fun thing to do. And you're going to learn a ton. And what happens when you're having fun and you're learning and you're sharing and you're stepping out of your comfort zone and you're trying new things, what happens? Your business begins to open up. It begins to blossom. And that's why when you see all those statistics uh, about Team Cup, all the coaches who, who participate in Team Cup uh, earn whatever, three times more than those that don't uh, increase, have a 50, and, and I don't know the exact number, so I'm just making them up, 50, 60% uh, chance to increase rank. I know the numbers are high, but you know all these amazing things happen because now you're vested in, in something, you're learning, and you're trying new things and you're seeing how other coaches are, are doing things too. So it's, it's just, it's, you know, it's one of those things to have fun with. February is a short month. Okay. Um, you know, that's why they always put it on in February to really get it kickstarted, keep that momentum going. If you built up that momentum in January, keep it going through February, get the 2017 started right and keep riding that wave through the whole year. So that's what Team Cup means to me. Yes, definitely. And uh, hold on, let me share my screen here. That's the, the website, and you can see Tier 1 prize. I think, I forget how many points. Do you know, Brian, is it 30 points? I think it's, no, I think it's 70, I want to say. And everybody has to be, everyone has to hit Success Club 5. Pablo is the guy, the, the, the FAQ. Okay. No, it can't be 70 because tier one is the easy one, right? Oh, no, that's right. Tier one yeah, is the easy one. I don't one. remember how many questions tier one. <laughs> what do you say? I don't remember. The, I don't oh, okay. Yeah. Tier I, one, I believe, is, is, is 30. Yeah, it's like 30. So basically, total team points, 30 total team points. Um, right, so if every person on the team gets six success club points, then, then you'll win this uh, Bluetooth speaker, right? Every right. single person will win this Bluetooth speaker. And then like tier two is like um, uh, 50 points, right? So if, if everyone on the team, if the team combined gets 50 points and you also get success club five or better, then you'll get this tote bag plus the Bluetooth speaker. So that's how it works. <laughs> and then the top teams, and then they got this Shakeology hoodie, but like the top three teams, you can get an Apple TV, you can get flown out to California to meet the trainers. You know, you can get some pretty amazing prizes if you're the top teams. And then Carl, I just posted in the group that Carl just announced that, what was it, the top 10 teams He's give or twenty teams. He's giving like a thousand dollars to, oh, like you can uh, make over your home gym. So, oh, wow. yeah, I was like top ten, top twenty. Right. Now it's all about the points. Forget everything I said, guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like what drives you. Is it? Is it? You know, the camaraderie. Is it the points? Is it the money? Right. We're all driven by something different. So, you know, the cup can appeal to everyone. So. Trish is on. Okay, just in time. Take it out. Take it away, Trish. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be starting promptly at six. Uh, <laughs> it's six o'clock somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. It's well, almost ten. We, what's that? It's almost ten. What are you talking about? Six. Yeah. <laughs>